Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. Let's see if we can make our way into the treasury of the castle. Take back what's rightfully ours. Okay, so we got the knight that's really in the way of everyone. So, let's see. With that guy, I would need 24 attack power to be able to kill them in one battle without a crit. And, unfortunately, only Astrum has the strength to be able to do that with a silver sword. So, I'm going to need to soften the guy up there a bit. Let's see, George is too light on HP for me to want to put, like, over here, where some of the other enemies could hit him. So, let's see, Merrick has plenty of HP, though. So, why don't we go up there with our Thunder Spell, which I'm going to be getting rid of in the near future, but not just yet. Ha ha! Okay, so we got some little bit there to start. Okay. Then, let's see. With that, how are you doing now? Okay, so I need 18 attack power now to finish the guy off, and George can get the job done if he gets in both hits with his silver bow. And he's got a pretty good skill stat. See if it's good enough. Alright, got him. That'll really help things out. And he could use the experience. Okay, so with the the mage, okay, you're almost dead. See, you're almost dead. You're not. You are though. Okay, so let's see. With Samson, the only guy he can reach is the mage. So why don't we get him up there? And I'm going to use my Worm Slayer, because I'm going to be getting rid of it soon anyway. And the mage has very little HP. Not to mention, we've got some Monokeets right next to us, so I want him to be prepared if necessary. Though, I would think they'll go after Marth. Which is why I'm advancing quite a bit so much here. So what do we get out of this one? Strength, weapon, luck, and defense. Nice. I mean, I would have rather had speed, but that works too. Okay, then with the sniper, let's see, we can take them out with a weapon sword, and I'm going to have Katria do it. Maybe a little risky with a 90% accuracy there, but I want to guarantee that Katria will get a kill, or at least more likely than going after the knight with a uh, leaven sword. But, uh, alright. Plenty of good experience there. Okay, so with the knight, let's see, we got Navar. So let's get you over there. If you can kill the guy, great. If not, Navar is doing pretty well on his experience. But, I have to try. Ow, quit it. Alright, there we go. The reason why I wanted to kill that guy uh, was because he was trying to murder me. No, no. Uh, because I don't want him to go after Marth again there. So, let's see. I've got a little bit on the Levin Sword there. So, let's move Marth back here, but still keep it equipped. If a couple enemies attack him, then he'll use up the rest of the Levin Sword just fine. Until then, okay, now let's actually warp, uh, let's see, yeah, Julian into the treasure room. I think that's the chest that I want to get. Let me just double check that one. Yeah, the middle left chest, which contains the almighty devil sword. It has a might of 17 and a weight of 5, but it only requires a weapon level of 2 to wield. So if you didn't give the manual to Julian, you could still use it. It has a base accuracy of 100%, but the drawback is it's cursed! And it will... Uh, at least from what I've heard, the way the calculation works, whenever you attack with it, you'll have a chance to be damaged yourself. 
based on a percentage of 21 minus your luck stat. So like if I had a maximum of 20 luck, I think that means I would have a 1% chance of taking damage myself. So that looks pretty nice. I mean, not the damage, but the odds. I've only taken damage myself once from my own Devil Sword, so it's very, very reliable. Okay, then let's see. Let's get up here. So yeah, I think the curse on the Devil Sword is identical to the Devil Axe from earlier. Okay, so I'm sending Zane up here to block off the thieves from trying to escape so that they can kill them. Let's see, with Astrum there. Let's see, why don't we get you here? No one will be able to hurt you there. Okay, then we've got a bishop to take down. Swarm has a might of 16. So, yeah, Lind will barely be able to survive that long enough to get our Thorn spell to kill the guy. Let's see, I think we'll have enough for Lind to uh, gain a level there. What do we got? Yes! Okay. So, well, we get their Swarm spell, though I don't care. Skill, weapon, speed is the big one there. Very nice. Okay, so now, let's see, we got the Fortify staff with Harden there. So, I want him to deliver it to Wendell eventually. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, it's going to take a little while for us to get back around there. Let's see. With Red, he's taking too much damage for me to want to uh, attack the boss yet. So let me see. How far can I go? Okay, if I move Red here, Wendell will be able to swing back around and heal him up eventually. Even Physic wouldn't heal enough HP to uh, allow him to survive the boss. Let's see, we're just gonna leave Minerva where she is for a while. In the meantime, let's see, we got a VIP card. I wanna give that to her for now, just to clear things up. And then, let's see, with Sita, let's take her over to the shop where I would like to buy a bridge key. We're not going to need it for a few chapters, but we can't buy another one until, I think, the final chapter of the game. So, yeah, we better buy one now. Although you could use a master key, but with the way I have my party set up, it's going to be more convenient to just have the bridge key in regular door keys and all that. Okay, so, yeah, a couple guys will probably go after Marth, but not too many. Leaven Sword will cut through that pretty easily. Ow! Quit it. Yeah, all those breathing fire attacks deal damage based on... Well, I mean, it's a physical attack. Well, good thing I got the Leaven Sword equipped. So yeah, the more defense I can get for Marth, the better. And whatever I can do to soften these guys up, that's fine. I am not worried about the thieves at this time. We'll just leave them alone. Yeah, this is one this is why I didn't want George to be up against the wall, because that Bulganon would kill him. But, uh, okay, so we got a little more experience there. Okay, we can go after Navarre. Is he fast enough, though? Yes, he is. Good enough there. Let me just double check the experience that we got out of that. Okay, looking good there. And then, let's see, with... We're there. Navar. Okay, so... Yeah, you're doing pretty good there now. Okay. 
Now let's actually start getting to the, the real treasure that I care about. Okay, so with Marth, let's see, with this one, I want to get the middle right chest for himself to pick up another Draco shield that I will have him use eventually. In the meantime, since I did not use up all my uh, 11 swords there, hmm, I'm thinking if I want to get rid of it, that was going to be my first thought, but let's see, rapiers, I'm probably going to get rid of in the near future too, but we're also going to be able to buy more 11 swords soon as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll get rid of the... Hmm. I'm leaning towards the the rapier. Even though I do have a use for it. Yeah, let's get rid of the rapier. The silver sword can get the job done for melee weapons. Okay, then let's see. With Julian, I'm going to have him pick up the majority of the chests here. While I have Marth head back to the throne. And there we get the secret book, the permanent stat boosting item for the skill stat. So I want to get that over to one of my bowmen eventually. I would think George would probably be the best way to go, but we'll see how that works out. Okay, with Wendell, well actually hold on, I'm going to send Wendell over to the right eventually. But first things first, let's get Zane up here to prevent the thieves from running away. Okay, then as far as kills go, let's see, I think I'll give two to Samson, two to Katria, and one to George. Let's see, yeah, we can deal with that guy. We need 12 attack power, so the bow gun will barely be able to get the job done with perfect accuracy. Okay, so let's see, with Merrick, let's get you out of there. Your work is done. Although I do want to get an item over to Merrick eventually. A couple items, actually. Let's drop our Thunder Tomes. They're days through. I want 100% accurate spells now. So we'll get you out of there. We got all the treasure. Okay, so yeah, let's have George finish that guy off. Ha ha, never see it coming. Very nice. And we get a level. What do we get out of that then? Let's see, weapon, nothing useful at this point. I've already got more than enough weapon levels for everything that I care about, really. Okay, so let's see with... Where's Samson? Okay, so you can't... Yeah, you can't make it over here, so I'm gonna need... Oh, we actually have six enemies left. I thought there was only five for some reason. Okay, I can probably give a kill to Navarre at some point. But, uh, one thing at a time here. Okay, so you two will have to kill the lower two guys. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to use Astrum, though, unless I can only have him soften up an enemy. Okay, so deal with this guy. Let's see, what do you got? Okay, so your combat speed is 11. So let's see, Navarre certainly has more than enough. But, I don't want the en enemies to kill him. So, let's see. How's our HP looking? Because I think the thieves will finally attack us once I clear out most of the other enemies. So, let's see. You've got... What attack power? 17? Let's see. I could survive that with Navarre. I don't know if that would be a good idea, though. Let's see, what about this guy? Okay, I would need 14 attack power to be able to kill that guy. And that would keep Navarre 
out of range of the other enemies. So, yeah, why don't we have Catria stick around here for a while? Oh, do I have the speed? Or does she have the speed to outrun that guy? Oh, yeah, more than enough. Very nice. I mean, with all the levels she's been getting, holy cow, hopefully I will be able to use up the rest of the silver sword because I need the inventory space. Or we could just kill the guy in one hit. That works too. And we get a level. What do we get out of this one? Strength, speed, luck, and defense? Holy crap! <laughs> I mean, her defense growth is 30%, which is the best among my active party members, but still, that is obscene. Okay, so with Navarre... Okay, so we'll have Navarre go down there. Can Samson take care of this guy? Well, he's got the Worm Slayer, so of course he could. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Well, let me see. How much damage could you deal? Okay, so they have 19 attack power? Hmm, that's exactly enough damage to kill me. But I want to keep Samson up here. So, I'll probably just use Physic on Navarre there. Yeah, let's do that. Besides, I'm going to be tossing out my Physic Staff in the near future anyway, so I can make room for the new Fortify Staff, which is basically the Physic Staff on all your party members, so you have unlimited range. I wonder if that heals the user, too, though. I never bothered to check that. Hmm. Well, in any case, we'll go with the guaranteed accuracy of our silver sword to get the job done. Oh! Hmm. For some reason, I... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That could be a problem. Let's see what I can do about that. Let's see. Okay, so I can't even get in range with a 11 sword. Hmm. Let's see, can I survive? Nope. So I'd have to hope for a miss there. What did you have before that? Hmm. Okay, well, in any case, let's see, we got Samson ready to go. So let's go with that. And hope Samson can get a dodge, or, uh, what is it? Not Samson. Navarre can get a dodge. I mean, he does have pretty good speed. Okay, we're good to go there. You know, the Monarchy might even just go after Marth there. But, uh, we'll worry about that when they get their turn. Not much I can really do about it now. Okay, so with Astrum, I think his work is done. Let's see, I want to... Well, actually, let's see. I'm going to keep him around because there's some inventory management that I can have him do. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, you're done with Monokeets, so how about we just get rid of your Worm Slayer to make a little room. Okay, you'll be good there. Then, let's see. Let's start softening up the boss a little bit there. So, let's see. Uh, this boss has the Mage Stone, which has a might of 18. Uh, weight of 6, 90% base accuracy. It boosts their defense by 15. So, yeah, I'm going to need at least 22 attack power to be able to damage them at all. But more importantly, the Mage Stone negates all magical damage, including Levin Swords. So, yeah, the only way to deal with that guy is with physical attacks, like the Worm Slayer or the Parthia Bow. At least as far as what we got for now. So, let's see. I need to soften up the guy because 
even fully healed, Red isn't going to be able to kill the guy on his own. So let's go with our Parthia bow to get started there. And then we'll heal up Rad so that he can take the guy down. Or at least cut him down to size. Let's get a little damage in there. Just a little bit. Not much we can much else we could do anyway. Okay, so yeah, we got that out of the way. Let's leave Rad where he is. See, Lind, I'm probably gonna wanna move around a little bit at some point for inventory management. Let's see, let's drop our swarm spell since I don't really need that. Okay, then let's see, leave you two where you are. Oh yeah, let's uh, visit the house here while we're in the area. Oh, really? Where is it? Oh, it's a secret to everybody. Never mind then. Okay, time to hope and pray for Navar. Or I'll have to re-record the whole thing. Okay, good, good. I, I knew that was going to work out that way. But, yeah, we need to... Okay, let Marth finish the guy off. That's fine. And get a lot of experience while we're at it. Okay, yeah, now that these are going to start attacking us... Uh, one of the thieves is slightly stronger than the other one. Might as well use up the Worm Slayer, since I don't have any other use for it now. But, well, at least we got plenty of experience, and we survived. But where can we find one of those secret shops around here? Find out next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!